If you want to find a place to stay while we're here, I've heard that the Hotel Voli is top notch. Apply today at the nearest kiosk. Clover over at Keltko. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. Yeah, about that. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Law enforcement isn't exactly welcome in Neon, but that shouldn't deter you from your duty. Good. I can't believe this. You're shirking your responsibility based on what this fool thinks. Oh, you have a lot to learn about duty and honor. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Of course, Neon's full of desperate people who have nowhere else to turn. For some, it's a drugs. For others, it's gambling. There are a lot of ways to lose everything in this city. My rule is simple. If someone brought it on themselves, then I don't get involved. Rangers are supposed to exercise good judgment. I'm one person here. I can't help everybody. The best I can do is try to protect the ones who are innocent. And believe me, it's a full-time job. Stay out of people's business until you can. Be willing to let the small stuff slide. Don't break up a fight unless it's getting out of hand. Most of all, don't assume that badge will protect you. Come on. how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that a neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, They'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. But you understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. Right? In space? Just do us all a favor and never turn into one of those spaces. Scum of the guys. Robbing, stealing, killing. Even the Crimson Fleet won't trust you.
Hey, Billy. You got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Hmm. Huh. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Look, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? I suppose we shouldn't be surprised that he's asking for something in return. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. Well, that's terrible. You shouldn't be responsible for your brother's debts. Yeah? Well, tell that to Goodman, because he doesn't seem to care. He just wants his money. From where I'm standing, it seems like our problems are intertwined like a couple of fuel lines in a thruster assembly. I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? I hear you, but it doesn't change anything. I mean, yeah, might be okay. Hard to argue with that. Okay, okay. Had to try, right? The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. She's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Well, what about me? You just gonna leave me twisting in the wind here? If I were you, I'd get the hell out of Neon and start over somewhere else. I don't want to see a free star ranger and his what are you a sidekick or something well I'm sure your mom is real proud so how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger uh, this is the deputy's case is that so and you had to bring back up just for little old me <laughs> I'm flattered Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? All right, so I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. 
End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Hey, all I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. Look, I wouldn't have gotten involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. Not asking questions is just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It's not that simple. Maybe. Need to think about it. I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? No. Nothing at all. <laughs> Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Suits me. I'm getting too old for this line of work. Besides, I'm going out on a high note. Ain't many can say they grabbed a ship right out of Hope Deck. Should make a good story for the kids one day.
You should ask Sam about Akina sometime. He has some pretty amazing stories to tell. Take a look around. It's a good bet I've got something you need. I want to do your business quick. How about I just show you? Take a gander. Not everyone gets to say they work at the Rock. Better this than being some dust wrangler on Montara Luna. 
Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? What? You serious? Well, that's a first. I guess not everyone likes to have a good time. Speaking of which, on to business. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. What did you learn from this starship thief? Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance, even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk, the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. Like what? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, deputy.
Excuse me. Deputy. 